If your iPhone looks like this with badges everywhere and thousands of notifications just sitting on your phone, it might be stressing you out. So I'm gonna give you seven tips for managing notifications like notification summary, custom sounds per contact, VIP email notifications, and how to use focus modes. Let's jump into it. Step one, let's turn off those badges for applications that don't really need them. Now I would encourage you, you might feel like you need to see those badges on some apps, but if you have an app whose badge says thousands and thousands of whatevers, you're probably not even paying attention to it now anyway, so turn it off, it'll reduce a little stress. For instance, my to-do app, which is Things, I actually have notifications turned on for banners, but I don't typically have the badge showing. So I'm gonna jump into Settings, let's go to Notifications, scroll down to the app you're looking for, and then you'll see the badges toggle, let's turn that off, and now we won't see that little red dot. I actually have most, if not all, of the apps on my phone to not show badges. The only exception is the Messages app, because I want to know the text messages that I have unread, but I don't even show it for mail. I actually don't even have mail on my home screen, and I'll show you what I do with that in a second. Number two, a great feature to reduce those spam calls and just interruptions during the day is to silence unknown callers. If I jump into the Settings app, go down to Phone, scroll down, and then you'll see these silence unknown callers. Toggle this on, and now if you don't have someone in the contacts on your iPhone, it will actually be sent straight to voicemail, it won't ring your phone, you won't hear anything. Number three, I would program custom text tones and call tones for your most important contacts. Often when we hear that ding of our iPhone, we check it because we don't know who or what is trying to get a hold of us. But if you set custom text and ringtones for your most important contacts, then you'll know exactly who's trying to contact you, and if it's not them, you can choose to ignore it. To do this, go over to your Contacts app and go to a contact who you want to set a custom text or ringtone. Tap the Edit button in the top right, and then you'll see Ringtone and Text Tone. Here it's set as default, but if I go to Text Tone, and then choose a custom sound, like the Jawa, and then hit Done, I'll know when Johnny Appleseed texts me, that's the sound specifically for him. You can do the same when this contact calls you, and now you know the most important people in your life, whether they're calling or texting, you'll be able to know when they're trying to get a hold of you versus someone else. Now I know for many people, email is the one pain point when it comes to notifications, and I'll get to that in a minute. But I want to tell you about notification summary. Not only can you set notifications to go in the banner or notification center, but you can also reserve some apps to just go to a notification summary you receive once or twice a day. So it's an app where you want to see the notifications, but not immediately, then you can put them in the summary. To do that, I'll jump to the Settings app again, and let's go back to Notifications. Let's go to an app like Apple News. Maybe I want to know the top stories of the day, but I don't want to see them as they come in, because that can be pretty distracting. So instead of immediate delivery, I can choose to Schedule Delivery. Now I will only see those Apple News notifications as a part of the notification summary that comes twice a day. Then I can further schedule when I get that notification summary. If I scroll to the top here of the Notification Settings and go into Scheduled Summary, I can choose whether or not to receive it twice a day, or even multiple times a day. I can choose to add another summary time, maybe I want it to be in the middle of the day, around lunchtime. I can also choose to show the next summary at all times in the Notification Center, but it will be separated out from my immediate notifications. Also in this view, this is a helpful way to see how many notifications you're getting from your different apps, and whether or not you want to allow it here in the Scheduled Summary. Some ideal apps to put in the scheduled summary versus immediate delivery are things like social media applications, and any apps that you find just send you way too many notifications during the day, but for whatever reason you do want to see them at some point, put them in the scheduled summary. Plus, for every app in the notification settings, you'll see this time-sensitive notifications toggle. If you toggle this on, then you can be confident that this app, if there's something really important it needs to tell you, that it will still have that option. Although if you see an app is abusing that, maybe something like DoorDash or Uber, I've seen those do it, then toggle this off and you'll know you'll just see them in the scheduled summary. All right, tip number five. Let's talk about email notifications. Most likely, if you have a lot of work accounts or maybe you have your boss that emails you a lot, it's understandable you'll need some kind of notifications for email. But there's a special feature called VIP email that I'll show you in a moment where you can get notifications just from specific contacts who email you rather than every email that comes through. Plus, I want to give you a tip for filtering some of those spam emails so you don't get them in your inbox all the time. So first off, let's jump into our Settings app, and then we'll go to Notifications, and then scroll down to Mail. For these settings, let's leave it on Immediate Delivery, Lock Screen, Notification Center, all of that, but scroll down, and you'll see here Custom Notifications. If I jump into that, you'll see all the email accounts that I have here on my iPhone. I can actually granularly control each email account. So maybe you don't need to get notification. So maybe you don't need to get notifications for your personal email accounts, but you do want to get it for work. This account right here, the Gmail, that's actually all these notifications on this badge that I have. I can eliminate that just in one fell swoop. I'm going to choose to turn off badges for that one email account, and now all of a sudden my home screen is clear. And if you enable alerts for this email account, 
Then it will default to all those notification settings you have set previously, like immediate delivery, lock screen, and notification center. Now here's the trick. I actually have for all my email accounts, alerts, and badges off. That's because you can designate something called VIP contacts. This way I'll only get notifications from VIPs or even designate favorite mailboxes as opposed to the entire email account. And you'll see here if I go into the VIP section, I can actually choose a custom sound, choose alerts. I still leave badges off. I just never want to see a badge on my mail app. But you can do alerts and sounds. This way you know when a VIP that you set contacts you, namely a boss or maybe a family member, you can get the notifications for that email but not all the other emails. So now with all my email notifications turned off except for VIP, here's how you can set a VIP contact. Here in my email list, I'm gonna go to Nothing Bun Cakes. This is a very important contact, so I would like to receive VIP emails to them. If I tap their contact name, even though they're not already in my contacts app or address book, you'll see the Add to VIP option is right here. If I tap that, now I know when this person emails me from this email address, I'll get those alerts and sounds and I won't miss that important message. Now if you wanna manage who is in your VIP contacts, Go back, all the way back to your mailbox listing here, and now you'll see that VIP is actually its own separate box here in your list. If I tap the little eye icon, then you'll see all the different VIP contacts that I've set previously. Now as much as I love nothing bun cakes, I'm not gonna keep them in my VIP email addresses, so I'm gonna swipe right to left and then delete it, and now they're no longer in my VIPs. Here's a quick bonus tip before we get to number seven. I actually have a filter set up in all of my email accounts where any message that contains the word unsubscribe or manage email preferences, if that hits my email accounts, it immediately skips the inbox and gets filed away into a folder that I call newsletters. So all those marketing emails, special discounts, whatever those promotional emails are, they get put in this folder and then I don't have to see them in my inbox. I don't have to think about what I do with them. And if I wanna check that folder, I can do that as often as I'd like in case I miss something. But I will tell you, I've had these filters set up for several years now and maybe once or twice an email that was important got sent to that folder, but I still saw it because I'm not deleting the emails. I'm just filtering them to a folder so I don't have to deal with them in my inbox. If you wanna learn more about setting up that email filter, check out the video above or the link in the description. And finally, number seven, it's time to utilize focus modes on your iPhone. Focus modes is an incredible feature where you can set focus modes to enable at certain times of day or by certain actions, even series shortcuts, and it will customize the notifications that actually come through your phone once it's enabled. To do that, I'm gonna jump into the settings app on my phone and here you'll see focus down here. You can set up multiple different focus modes and as you can see, I have lots of different options. I have options for filming, for the evening time, for the weekend, and even vacation and travel. I'll jump into one just to show you the power of focus modes. Here's my evening focus mode. This focus mode gets enabled every day at 6 p.m. and disables at 11.59 p.m. I can set who can contact me via email or text. I can choose what apps can send me notifications or not. I can even choose what lock screen, home screen, and Apple Watch face is enabled when this focus mode activates. There's even more options like dimming the lock screen, showing notifications on the lock screen, and hiding notification badges like we talked about. And you can even choose what email accounts, calendar accounts, and message conversations that you will see when you jump into a focus mode. If you'd like an in-depth explainer and step-by-step -step tutorial on setting up focus modes, check out this video above or in the description and subscribe to the channel. iOS 17 is coming out soon. As you're watching this, it might be out already. And there's even more features coming there that I'll cover right here on the channel. Hit that like button before you go and leave a comment. What is your most helpful tactic for making sure you don't get distracted by your phone? How do you manage notifications? What badges do you choose to have on what apps? I'd love to hear about it and engage with you down there. Thanks for tuning in. And another video you might like is actually gonna show up here or maybe over here in one second.